talk through Object Manager, just the basics of what it is and how you navigate it. So um, <clears throat> let's start with what an object is in Salesforce. So an object is pretty much anything that you see up here at the top when you're, um, you know, when you first log in. Leads, contacts, accounts, opportunities, tasks, and so forth, campaigns, all of these are objects. And objects are um, things that we, that that you have data about. So say a person, which would be a contact, you have data that talks about them, that gives you information about them. So that would include their name, their email address, their account, um, maybe some activity, like uh, some attributes about them of like where they work. Um, so these are objects and you can customize the what you do with them and how they interact with each other and um, and what you see so for example through object manager if I have this contact here um, I can change a lot of this stuff I can change the fields that show up um, I can change some of the bu buttons that I'm able to click and 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 these links here so all that's done in object manager so we'll walk through that so let's when you come into setup so let me actually back out when you come here into setup um, it'll bring on this home and object manager is typically already a tab for you to open if you want to find it in this menu um, it's there under objects and fields in object manager Uh, and then it gives you a list of all of the different objects that you can uh, manipulate and work with. And you'll notice that a lot of them are like the ones that I outlined here on the home section. So leads, contacts, accounts, you can find all of those here. Account, contact, lead. Okay. So let's work with a contact. Um, many of these have like the same... Oh, I'm struggling clicking. Many of these have the same... Um, details here on what you can do with them and I'm going to go through the basic ones we're not going to go through all of them today um, but we're going to go through the basics so <clears throat> under a contact or, or an ob any object uh, the first thing that people will typically work with are fields and relationships so most of the time these are fields and in fields you can create new fields of various types you can see some of the types here like lookups which would be the relationship with other objects so under the account name it's a relationship with an account because you can look up accounts there's pick lists there's dates there's just open text with how many characters you want to allow um, these are all fields that you can have on the contact object and uh, you can manage them here by creating new fields um, you can delete fields that you might not want to use anymore uh, we won't go into dependencies today and then if you want to track how those fields values change you can set history tracking and history tracking will eventually like say I want to see when an email address has changed for a contact um, it'll give you the date who changed it um, what the old and new values were so it kind of helps from uh, a data standpoint if you're trying to troubleshoot or get old values Page layouts is how it appears when you visit that object's page. So this is the page layout, right? So these are the order that the fields show up in. And if I want to change that, I would do that here. And uh, you can see it matches um, contact owner name, account name title. That's all. It's all matches like that. Um, these are pretty configurable so if I come back here you can see there's several different kinds and I'm not going to show you how today but you can you can change who sees what so they've done that here so like there's a marketing layout so if I'm in Salesforce as a marketer I would see fields in this way if I'm in Salesforce as a sales rep I would have a little bit of a different view and you can create these for different roles and profiles and stuff. Uh, I'm going to skip to buttons, links, and actions. So these are the links that you see on the contact page that you can configure. And they do certain things. So like 
if I'm looking at this contact, for example, I can create a new case or a new note or a new opportunity. These are all buttons that uh, help me interact and work with this object. So you can see some of those here. Um, they, a lot of them match the list like clone, delete, edit, new opportunity, just like we just saw. Okay, I'm going to talk about these layouts here. So lightning record pages is kind of what you see here in these sections. Um, and you can configure a lot of this actually straight from here in editing the page. But in, lightning has a different format in how you can group these actions and details and stuff together. And then compact layouts are uh, smaller views of records that highlight like the most important things. So like for example, right now I'm on desktop so I get to see a lot at once. If I'm on a mobile device, I'm not going to, it's going to be too hard to get all of that on my screen. So um, compact layouts, uh, cut it down to like the most important fields and things that you want to, that you want to show. All right. Um, okay, field sets are groups of fields that would use, be used for visual force pages. Um, so basically, like if there were common fields that you're going to use in different spots, you put them in a field set. Um, there's some more advanced stuff with that that we won't go into today. Um, that honestly I haven't used much before. Object limits are exactly what it sounds like. They're limits related to this object. So on a contact, for example, I can add a total of 500 custom fields, um, 100 validation rules, 50 workflow rules, um, active workflow rules. So these are just the limits of what I can do with that object. Um, record type would be, I can actually create different types of contacts. So say like I have different business units um, and uh, let's, let's think of an account. Let's say like I've got accounts that would be partnerships and then accounts that would be direct customers. Those could be two different types of accounts that would be within Salesforce. Um, I'm going to skip down to, I'm going to skip these and, uh, triggers are apex code that can be put in. Um, so this is more advanced, like a developer would do it, but, uh, there are actions that can be done when like a record is created and then, uh, validation rules are, are also actions that can happen or like things that can prevent something from happening uh, in order to keep data uh, standardized, for example. So let's say that uh, you want to make sure that if somebody adds in a phone number into a contact record, that they also need to add in uh, their job title. So you can do that through a validation rule. Um, and this isn't done to, with too much code. You add like a formula, uh, which is pretty easy to figure out once you understand the syntax. Um, so that's like the basic overview of Object Manager and what you can do and manipulate with each object in Salesforce.